welcome back to my channel my name is mrs ashley and today we are going right into motivational monday and thank you guys for sticking around and hopefully you guys are happy healthy and doing great things for you guys self um last week i did do my first video for fat girl fridays i will be keeping on to that series as well as motivational mondays so today we are going straight into Motivational Monday and what we're talking about today is three habits that I have for you guys to help motivate to love yourself. And if you are interested in this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification bell button right there to get notified of all my future videos. And if you guys like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. I would love to hear your habits that you guys you know um, try out or if you have tried these habits out definitely leave it in the comments down below um, if you have new habits let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely incorporate them in my life so let's get straight into this video and is using the gratitude app you don't have to use the gratitude app it is just a great app that I currently use to help journal um, my feelings and help stay grateful for being what I am today or who I am today because honestly it is a really Debbie Downer to you know go throughout the day feeling negative feeling sorry for yourself you want to start the day off right I usually have my gratitude app set at six o'clock in the morning right before I wake up right before I start the day um, that way I can hold myself accountable to loving myself for the rest of the day or at least put in some grateful thoughts that I have about myself before the day starts and before I have my coffee before any of that I usually love to put grateful things and sometimes you know writing them out and then rereading them later you, you can definitely feel the love for yourself um, that way you're always staying so positive in your life so that is going into meditation or doing yoga or breathing exercises so I usually love doing these type of activities through after working out or when it's midday and I'm feeling a little bit like um, not so good about myself that I make sure I take time to, you know, breathe, exercise, and then meditate and just think in the moment of why I love myself or, you know, meditating that if you want to be a certain body don't don't hold yourself to that standard just make sure that you meditate to where you're meditating that you will love yourself the way that you are or you will love to learn or you will learn to love yourself um for the way that you are because you are your own person and you are beautiful inside and out it's a good reminder that you know you want to be thankful and grateful for doing such a hard workout if you are trying to get healthy or if you are you know having that mindset that okay I am loving myself I do love myself and nobody can tell me otherwise meditating and releasing those fears releasing those negative negative impulses in your mind will help you grow into a better person than you already are so make sure you take time in your day to meditate or even do yoga to get your mind off of your physical aspect and breathe and make sh make sure you always think that everything's going to be okay you know basically just reminding yourself of the positive things in your life thus far so I hope you guys use that tip because it's helped me so so much um, throughout my loving my body journey so so then we here we are in tip number three I only have three today um, and that is 
to put away the cell phone, put away social media and not care about what society thinks because we can get caught up in FOMO and it's a real thing and it it destroys lives better than to build it up. We look at our Instagram, you know, I've spent a lot of time and energy studying um, business profiles and business um, accounts to, you know, make my account look almost similar or in my own version of what I feel what people want to see and that's not healthy. You should post things because you want them to be posted. So turning off that cell phone, turning off that social media for an hour or if you can't do an hour, at least 15 minutes of your day, it really speaks volumes because it will give you time to yourself and time to reflect that, hey, my life is as good as it gonna get or it's gonna be better tomorrow or it's gonna be better, you know, um, when I when I just fuel my body with positive um, energy and that taking time for yourself is the best thing you could do um, me and my husband love to eat out and when we're eating out we take our you know take the photo and but I want to make sure that we are always putting that phone away that we that way we are commute <laughs> that way we are communicating through each other and enjoying each other's company because he loves me for a reason I love him and I should be able to take time for myself to see what my husband loves about me and to put myself first so don't give in to the FOMO that's basically it don't give in to the FOMO make time for yourself put that cell phone away make time for yourself it doesn't mean you should give up your dream or you should you should be like, oh, I'm just going to give in and eat Kit Kats or whatever. But no, um, keep the dream alive that if you want to be healthy for yourself, then you should be doing that. Um, and that I, I stri I'm striving for that because I want to have a child soon or I want to have a child in my future and be able to um, sustain that child um, and be able to play with that child whoever that child may be um, when I do get a healthier weight and yeah so that's the reason why you should just give up the social media so I hope you guys are doing great and hopefully your week is gonna go so by you're gonna your week is gonna go by so fast and it's such amazing pace and you're gonna learn a lot of things and um I'm going to go ahead and leave that note with you guys and I hope you guys are just having the greatest summer. I know summer is coming to a close and it's going to be great for the rest of the year. I just hope you guys um, stick with me and hopefully we can learn from each other. You guys have been my rock as well as my husband has been my rock and you guys give me such great compliments. and you guys actually created my confidence level and it's just amazing i am so so thankful for every single one of you guys have a wonderful rest of the summer and i will see you guys on fat girl fridays and i'll hope you like that those videos as much as these videos like always stay super sweet